Hello, everyone. In our discussion of tree data structure, we already talked about binary trees. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more in depth about binary tree because this is one of the uh, most important data structures that we'll come across while so solving different kind of algorithms and problems. Okay, so first let's talk about the different properties of a binary tree. Uh, so let's talk about the properties. So the properties of a binary tree, sorry. We talk about the properties. And the first property is like a binary tree, any node, right? We'll have uh, at most two children. Then the tree will have exactly one root, and there'll be exactly one path between a root, between the root and any node. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what looks as a binary tree. So first, if we look at this tree, and what is a root? The root is the one which doesn't have any parent. Okay, so this is the definition of the root. So if we look at this tree, you see we have like uh, six nodes in this tree. Obviously, this is the root. And from root to any node, there is only one path, right? If I go to this node, there is only one path, this. If I go to this node, there is only one path to reach this node from root. So I can... <clears throat> So obviously we can say that this is a binary tree, right? Okay, so next let's look at our next tree. If we have just uh, say a tree like which looks like this, is this a binary tree? Now you see that there is one node here, which is which has like, uh, which is a root, right? So it has exactly one root. That is fine. So this is a root here, right? And then any node will have at most two children. So uh, this node has, sorry, uh, this node has like zero children, and this node has one children, right? So none of them have like more than two. So that uh, that property is also fulfilled. And exactly one path between the root and the node, any node, right? So there, if you look at this, you can see there is exactly one, just one path. So all of them are actually getting followed. So the third one also is true. So we can say that this is a valid binary tree, okay? Okay, so let's take a look at another tree. So suppose there is a tree with just one node. That's it. Nothing else. So is this a binary tree? So first of all, this, this node doesn't have any parent. So this is a root, and exactly there is one root. That is fine. Uh, the node has zero children. So it has, like, less than two. So the first uh, property also is valid, sorry. And exactly any one path between the root and any node. There is no other node, so there is no path, obviously. So, so that is also true. We can say this is also a 
a valid binary with just one node where the node is the root. Okay, so next, what about an, uh, if I say an empty tree? Empty tree, nothing like a, an empty tree. If there is nothing, right? Is that a binary tree? Yes. An empty tree is also considered as a binary tree. Okay. Let's look at another example of it. Uh, another example, and let's see if that is all a binary tree or not. So you look at this one. Okay, so here, uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, a graph, but this has exactly one root. That is fine. But the thing is, uh, from any node, uh, and another thing is like, each of the nodes have at most two children. That is also true. That property is also true. But the thing is here, you see that there are actually multiple paths between this node. So if I say this node and this node, there are actually multiple paths. So this is path one, right? And then there is another path. So this is path two. That means from node A to node C, you can actually, uh, there are two paths. So that means this is, this property is not fulfilled. So this is not a binary tree. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at another graph. So say, If let's talk about this one. Uh, here you see there is <coughs> this tree actually doesn't have any root, no root, right? There is no root because root is the node that has no parents. So this tree hasn't like this graph, there is no existence of root in this graph. So we can just say this is not a, this just cannot be a binary tree. Okay. Um, so let's, sorry. So let's uh, take a look at uh, how we can implement a binary tree in using a data structure or using a programming language, right? So here is one example of a uh, implementation of a binary tree uh, in Java. So before going to that, let's talk about something. So the basic thing in a binary tree is going to be a node, right? So it's going to be a node, sorry. So this is the basic uh, building block of a binary tree, a node. And there will be a link between nodes, right? So any node can have like maximum of uh, two children. Okay, and the node will have some value. It might be string value. So the node will have value and two children. You can say left child and right child. So the left child will also be a type of node, right? Right child will be 
another node and the value might be say integer character string any any it can have any value right so the node will look like this so value and then uh, a right child a left child and a right child if i go to go back to the program you see this is a class the node class here right so the node class has a value for this particular one the values are integer values and then there is two links to two other nodes one left and right and then here is a constructor so you can create a node providing it as a value and initially the left node or uh, right node is defined as null there and then here is the binary uh, class binary tree class which uses the node so you see uh, we first define a binary tree create a new binary tree and then we start defining the nodes a uh, we give it a value one then b c d e for e we give it a value 10 okay now let's start connecting so these are like separate nodes we are have created so uh, what we are going to do is we are assigning b to a's left a c to a's right and d to b's left and d to uh, sorry e to d's right and eventually this what this tree is going to look at uh, look like is like this So this is how this tree is going to look like. So you see uh, A doesn't have any parent. So A is the root here. Nothing is pointing to A. And then B and C. And D is B's left child. And E is uh, D's right child. Okay, so this is how we create a node, uh, a binary tree in Java, create a node class, and then we define the nodes and make uh, the links between them in a binary tree class. Okay, so that's it.